Hey everybody, so I'm going to show you how to upload a black and white image into Inkscape and to convert it into either an outline SVG for Cricut Design Space or how to turn it into a colored SVG for Cricut Design Space. I already have my pictures saved, so I am going to be doing a pig for this tutorial. So you have the picture that we just uploaded right here. It's a JPEG image. You're going to go to path and you're going to trace bitmap. For this, you're going to want to click, because it is black and white, you're going to click grace and you're going to just bring this all the way down to two. Pretty much you only have two colors, black and white. You're going to make sh if smooth is selected, unselect it, and make sure these two boxes are clicked. You can also click this to preview it. Click OK, and then you're going to take this and exit out of it. Now, you're going to pull the image that you just made off top of the pig, and you can tell which one it is because it'll be... Like, it'll have the white background. So, see, this one has the white background, so that's the one we imported, so you're going to delete that. This one doesn't have the white background, and it's see-through, so this is the one you need. Now, if you want to use this as an outline for, like, um, people use it for, like, the color shirts, where you can apply it onto a t-shirt with HTV, and the kids will color it in, you just want to save it like this, so you would just... Go out to file and you're just going to click save as and you're going to save the SVG as pig outline. And you're going to save that. And that's. Oh, we'll save it to the next step. You're going to save that as just the pig outline. Now, if you, and then that could be just cut out as just an outline and be ironed onto a shirt, then kids can take fabric markers to color it in, whatever you want to do. All right, so if you want to put um, color into this to import it into Cricut Design Space, you're just going to use your fill tool and you're going to pick a pink you want. And then just click in the areas you want to fill. So if you zoom in, you can see that there's little white spaces. Now how I go about fixing them, you don't want to fill it in with your paint bucket, every little white spot, because with doing that, you'll have, like, a lot of pink pieces in your SVG. So what you want to do is I click the black, just the black background, and you're going to go to path, break apart, path, union. Now, so I, my pink, I didn't, I had my transparency, my opacity, off so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select um, it, select select same fill color and then I'm just going to change this up to 100 so that my pink shows through because I don't have that set so now you see that if you zoom in there's not going to be any different boundaries between the black and the pink the black fil filled it in this also helps when trying to piece it together because you'll have a solid background. So you, if you're not perfectly within the line, you're not going to have a gap on your shirt or anything because the black will fill the background. You can pull the black up and see that it's now a solid piece. While this does use more H, more vinyl or heat transfer vinyl, it does allow for a better solid picture. If you want to take this little piece off, you can, like the little part in the tail. How you could go about doing this is before you break apart, um, 
So with this little circle, how you can fill it before you do the break apart, you're going to pick a different color and you're going to fill in that circle. Okay, so then you're going to select the black again. And now you're going to do the path, break apart, path, union. And just like before behind the pig, it's going to be black. But this time you have, you can take this red piece and then click shift on a computer and click the black as well. And you're going to go to path and you're going to go to um, difference. And it takes out that red piece so now there's nothing there and the black is cut out so that you don't have the black fill in in the tail. You now have your pig with the color, so you'll be able to upload this into Cricut. So you're just going to go to File, Save As, and you can save your as, as um, pig fill, save. And then when you go into Cricut Design Space, you just upload, and your pig will be good to go and to be ready to be used. And that's it. Honestly, it's easy. Um, pretty much anything you would want to put into Design Space can be found as an outline. So, like, if you want to do PJ Mask, just type in PJ Mask Outline or PJ Mask Coloring Page, and you can import that into Inkscape, like I showed here with the pig, and trace the outline, and then just fill in the areas of color that you want to get. A finished colored project like this or you can leave it without the color and do the coloring shirts or whatever you want to do if you have any questions just let me know please make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications thanks guys